use headphones for best experience. for your fantastic support. Hi, welcome to another video. This is gonna be another pyjama rambo video. It was a very long time ago. I recorded one of these almost two years ago, I think. And, um, yeah, I just thought I wanted to talk a bit, ramble a bit about what's happening and like an update. Um, yeah, I've been thinking a lot lately, um, struggling a lot with my thoughts and, um, yeah, I just, um, felt that this probably could be a way of um, moving further and uh, to get some videos done. First I would like to thank you so much for your support and uh, welcome all new subscribers and viewers. Last time I did a ramble like this, I maybe had, uh, I mean, my channel had um, around, uh, what could it be? I don't think, uh, not even 10,000 subscribers. And now, some week ago, uh, the channel hit 100,000 subscribers. So, I'm extremely grateful and it feels so so nice that you to feel I have your support and that you want to see more and uh, that you want me to continue creating content in this in the style I'm doing videos so I will definitely do that that's my intention um, and, uh, yeah, um, last video I uploaded was a map drawing video, um, map drawing of Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, I think today it could be three weeks ago I uploaded th that one, and, um, my intention was actually to continue uploading videos quite frequently. Mm. Another map drawing, probably the week after. But then I struggled a lot with a lot of thoughts and... Um, yeah, I, so I would like to talk a bit about them, about my thoughts. So. Um, yeah, I, th I think I feel actually a lot of pressure at the moment, mental pressure to perform and to create, um, and it's of course something I feel only in my head, um, because I know that you appreciate my videos just as when I'm just myself, just doing what I love to do. But I create this pressure myself. I think it's quite common uh, when you work uh, in a creative field, um, especially actually on YouTube when you when you do everything yourself, from ideas to to 
of shooting the video, editing and um, uploading, uh, making thumbnails, that's some kind of advertising, and um, looking, uh, keeping track on uh, how it performs and everything, and make decisions all the time. Uh, and the it's like you have the YouTube algorithm as your boss <laughs> and it, you never know where you have this uh, thing uh, <laughs> I mean <laughs> in what mood it is uh, this day you can never really know in advance how it's gonna turn out or you can have a clue of it but yeah it's not super easy to communicate with your boss and I start to I mean this uh, have, has really helped me this uh, creating videos uh, and see the channel grow has really helped me in a lot of ways I feel um, I finally have found my channel for being creative and um, to see that it's appreciated, that people see it, um, and want to see more, um, and also this aspect that it, that I, letting me know that it helps them, that's uh, so important as well. Uh, so it gives it the whole thing a meaning uh, when you hear stories about how how a video could help have helped the person in a, in a difficult situation somehow and um, yeah I should just continue doing what I'm doing I guess and it shouldn't be that difficult but um, yeah as the channel has been growing um, I start to feel pressure I guess it's because I know many people are gonna watch it, especially if I plan to do a map drawing video. Um, I know it will probably be 100,000 views, which is incredible, it's fantastic. Um, but it, make it makes it more difficult at this point where I am right now, actually. I'm, I really think this is something that, will, that I will uh, go through and uh, find a way out from um, but yeah um, so for example the map drawing video I plan to do not next I actually have I, I'm stuck really in the already in the uh, preparations for it to decide what to include what to talk about because I want to also I feel I want to talk with confidence so so it um, looks like uh, and uh, So it appears like I'm no, I know what I'm talking about, and I want to know uh, at least a bit what I'm talking about because uh, about this country, it's a big country, a lot of history. Um, I really have enjoyed to to read about the history and learn a lot about it. But also, I have some problems of sorting and. Um, I kind of continue reading and it's a bit of anxiety in that as well because I feel like okay this is really interesting I should know a little bit more about it before I can talk with it with, with confidence maybe I should read about this as well and then I click it's so easy to get trapped in <laughs> Wikipedia when you start reading or on YouTube when you start watching a documentary video or and you get recommendations
occasions to see something else about another detail and uh, yeah you can learn a lot and from the more I learn the more difficult it gets to sort because I don't have time for for so much actually um, the video can't be too long and it takes a lot of time to just draw and uh, do the do the visible what well, I mean yeah draw the map and write the names or something but um, I want to talk a bit of, uh, as well that's really something I think is really I value that a lot in videos that uh, is more videos that's um, that's the type of video I want to do but I mean the things I will uh, um, end up saying it will just be a couple of minutes and it would not take so much time and energy to to prepare actually I know exactly how I could do it and I should be able to do it but I can't do it right now um, and it's very hard to explain so I ended up recording another video also map video but not a map drawing video last Friday um, so I have one video to edit and this one I can't really start editing uh, here as well I feel really strong anxiety when I think about doing it Mm. and um, yeah it's a, it's a bit sad I, I feel sad about it because it's really um, the, the time right now is really um, perfect for me to create videos um, I'm home working from home I don't have other uh, work to do I mean working with other clients then so I can, could concentrate on my own videos and this is the first time this year uh, this entire year that I had this opportunity because the year started with the uh, that I spent five weeks in Brazil which has, which was fantastic uh, I couldn't record from there so I worked a lot um, uh, prior to that so I could uh, upload videos in advance so, so it would continue uh, videos would continue being uploaded while I was there and uh, yeah I struggled with that a lot but managed to do at least uh, two videos in advance and then I returned home and then I started to work a lot uh, with clients I work as a graphic designer and I was very lucky that I had uh, a lot of, uh, I got a lot of uh, projects um, I was asked to, yeah, to help people uh, to work so that um, was really nice but also a lot of um, draining energy at the same time I tried to do at least one couple of videos I did the telephone vi video and the emoji video and uh, astronomy book video somehow but it was a really stressful time and I really longed for the day when all the these projects that I was about to do for the clients when they were uh, uh, when I had finished all those and then that day came and I had all the time in the world to concentrate now on my videos and this would be the perfect opportunity the perfect conditions also we have the the corona um, pandemic thing happened during this time and of course it's um, sad in many ways but f for me to create videos it was uh, it was uh, um, a great condition actually because the the planes there were less planes going here almost no planes so and that's actually something that makes the the, the video um, recording videos a bit difficult 
some days. So the conditions have been really good for creating videos. And, uh, but I haven't. Um, started to think about why, what's uh, bothering me, why can't I do this without anxiety when I r I know I enjoy it uh, a lot, it's exactly what I like to do, doing research, drawing, um, uh, editing video, uh, creating videos, uh, being creative, yeah, it's um, it's like I'm, <laughs> I don't know, but I have to punish myself or something that I say that uh, you have the best opportunity in the world to just do what you want, but uh, then you just can't do it. Yeah, um, but there are, yeah, I know that it's a pr uh, the probably it's the pressure. Uh, I feel I want to have everything right. Uh, I want to do it right, and um, this uh, country I am planning to do a map drawing about. It's uh, it has a lot of Spanish names in it, and it has a lot of um, uh, uh, indi indigenous languages names in it, and uh, so yeah, it's just a lot to think about and when you think you have to do everything right. Uh, I mean, the Spanish has to be right, the indigenous language has to be right, the English has to be right. I, th this is what, what I feel. Of course, it, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, so I feel like a lot of pressure and that I'm never prepared enough to do this. And this is not how I want this work to be. I want to be more confident and just just like I do now, just uh, I've had like scattered thoughts, but I haven't prepared what to say now. And I know that's actu actually the type of ASMR videos that I enjoy listening to, like ramble from heart. Mm. So, but I know there there will be a day when I can do this with more more confidence and uh, is when it will will feel more easy to do it um, also I would like to talk about a serious problem a um, personal problem and I think it's important to, to talk about actually I think it could help some people probably because when people are talking about this it's helping me a lot and I feel really relieved and uh, that uh, yeah it, it feels really good when I hear other people like celebrities or anything or people being interviewed when I talk about this because it's a super um, common problem and it's about alcohol um, drinking alcohol in uh, in a negative way so to say or using alcohol as anxiety medication perhaps um, so I have actually been drinking quite often and haven't seen it as a problem and no one around me have seen, has seen it as has seen that it as a problem either so I can't say I've been drinking much but I've been drinking often uh, and it's become become a habit uh, during many years like uh, yeah I want to finish the day with one or two glasses of wine perhaps um, and it, it has a long history um, from probably college now I was in college uh, I was uh, and uh, when I grew up I mean as a young adult I was very, very shy and alcohol helped me through through these uh, schools and college and uh, yeah to to have uh, friends feel comfortable among fr a lot of people parties friends 
So um, it's been something uh, very connected to um, to me, uh, or a big like part of my personality. It's been how I, uh, that I've been drinking, um, and when it comes to alcohol consum- con- consuming alcohol, it's of course a scale, and you, people can drink so much that uh, when you say probably you drink uh, not even a tenth of that and still say you have problems with alcohol it's so strange but but i mean it's how you drink and how you your rel- relation to alcohol how i guess that could be a problem um but i actually noticed last year that i wanted to have alcohol to uh, lower my anxiety and I mean, to help me with cope with anxiety and also to help me with creativity so I started to feel this pressure I guess as my channel grew mm, last year uh, it was a really successful year last year 2019 so I uh, the channel started with uh, like what was it twenty five thousand subscribers, and it ended with nine uh, eighty five thousand th- subscribers. So it was a very successful year. And I managed to do a lot of map drawing videos and uh, like developing new types of maps, new techniques to draw and everything. Um. But as I did this, and as the channel grew and everything, um, I somehow started to feel pressure, I guess, and that I had to perform. To I wanted this to, to continue, um, the channel to grow. I, I had started to see this could happen, and I had like a vision that um, yeah, this could maybe this could be what will save me in a way, because I always have trouble struggling with the thoughts about what I could do, wh- what job, uh, what I could do for work without feeling anxiety. Um, and this was the perfect uh, opportunity. So I wanted this to happen. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so, so I think I started to like feel that I needed even more alcohol and, and uh, or more often and also for a reason to help me create and to help me uh, edit or uh, prepare mostly um, without feeling this pressure and anxiety so um, so I really started last year I started to worry uh, I have been like drinking at evenings probably every every evening for quite a long time but I haven't really been worried about it a bit worried I have been actually because I know I it's not just um, I have been worried because I, I there had have been a lot of moments when I have said to myself okay let's have a night when I'm drinking something else and it had even ended up that I couldn't resist taking a glass of wine so uh, when you drink, but you don't want to, you don't want to drink, but you drink. That's uh, when you have to be a bit worried, I guess. Uh, so it wasn't really a surprise that it escalated last year, and I felt I needed it more, in more and more cases, or how to say. Mm. So this year, actually, two thousand twenty uh, twenty, I. I decided to do try to do something about it. So I um, stopped. Um, I I did try stop in 2019 at some occasions. Uh, a, a one week or a bit more in May, and then in November, uh, maybe two two weeks. December, yeah. So I started to think about it in 2019, and I did my first attempts, uh, but kind 
ago I had a relapse and um, but I was successful in 2020 I think uh, already from the start so while I was in Brazil actually I had long periods of not drinking even though I was on holiday and that uh, felt like uh, I had to be strong to do that and I did um, so I was happy for that and when I came home I had another big uh, like um, uh, something I had to cope with and that was being home in the old environment and uh, uh, trying to be creative and work from home without feel I need to to drink and um, I guess this is where <laughs> the problem started uh, <laughs> no it didn't start but I mean the problem I'm talking about right now that I can't really that I can't really um, I mean when I say the the problem I talk about the problem I feel I have today that I'm not able to create videos even though I want to at this moment but so it's still like uh, when I when I um, am about to create videos I still feel a lot of pressure and anxiety and I, st I think it's this uh, could be the, this thought about uh, and um, habit, old habit about uh, alcohol <coughs> but uh, I still haven't um, worked through through yet so maybe I, want, I have to give it a bit more time um, yesterday I read in the Swedish news actually about uh, Björn Ulvaeus one of Sweden's most famous uh, celebrities is one of the four people in ABBA, music group ABBA. Um, so he told, he talked to a newspaper about his alcoholism that he hadn't talked uh, about before. And, and I immediately felt, wow, this I want to read this, it's so interesting. Um, and uh, then he said that he stopped drinking alcohol uh, 13 years ago. Uh, then he was 62 years old. And he said that in the music industry it's very easy to fall into alcoholism. Uh, I guess in all creative... Uh, um, if you work in a creative field it's very easy. You have a lot of free alcohol and such things. Yeah, and um, then he said that uh, it took him probably... Uh, he was really worried that his uh, his life would be so boring. That it, that it would m he would miss... he would miss the, a lot. Because he had, take, he had taken this alcohol for granted for so long. And it had, it had been part... I guess it had been part of his identity. So he was really worried. Okay, I will do it, but it will be so boring. Uh, but then it took him three quarters of a year, he said. Um, how much is that? Is that uh, nine months? Uh, before he like saw the world with new eyes and um, started to feel a new kind of creativity again. And um, yeah, that made me, uh, encouraged me a lot um, to read that because I feel maybe I'm doing the same thing now um, and I've been doing it, it only for like seriously I've been doing it for four months approximately uh, it probably will take a while or I will be in a time when it's like when I'm a bit low and I really feel I don't want to start doing a creative um, start in a new creative project. I'm sure I will start creating projects, but I maybe I, I think I will probably struggle with it. Um, 
and uh, hopefully it will end up just uh, like he said uh, like the world is opening up and um, so that's that's what I'm hoping for right now and it kind of gives me a um, uh, uh, explanation why why I feel like this today when I feel I technically would be able to create a lot of videos and enjoy it a lot um, and yeah also uh, when I read about uh, a lot of musicians uh, I've read uh, some articles from about musicians, poets perhaps uh, or writers that said that um, it feels like it's always uh, a, a, an actor it was um, was it Skarsgård some Skarsgård um, actor um, said that um, what has saved them now when they're sober um, have been like they have taken the decision to stop drinking alcohol and they have what have saved them is um, for example exercising a lot starting exercising regularly okay, maybe not a lot but regularly and being out in nature a lot like in the forest and I feel that I feel I recognize it so much it's exactly what I'm going through right now I want to be in nature much more I want to exercise a lot more and I do uh, for the last yeah I started uh, like slow uh, slowly doing it more and more but uh, yeah last year actually I started to exercise much more started to be out in the forest much more and I continue doing that this year and it feels I mean it's so I'm so free from anxiety when I when I'm out in the forest running and um, it's the even though it's really difficult to take the step to do it every time uh, each morning or I'm not doing this every day but um, probably four, three four days a week um, and before I do it I feel like oh I don't want I don't I can't do it today it's I'm too tired or I can wait till the next day I have that kind of mindset but then when I decide to do it and I'm outside it's like oh I'm so grateful I did this uh, it's so nice I enjoy it so much so I, you just have to take that step and do it and from there you have a completely other see it in another way uh, and I'm so glad I do that uh, and I that I have the possibility to do it of course now we're in a very serious uh, time of uh, lockdown and everything so but when you have the opportunity when you will um, have it again uh, the opportunity to go out uh, uh, exercising running jogging please take that opportunity because yeah I, I recommend it so much um, if you make start making it as a habit and uh, also try to look at new things uh, the environment and I actually have um, today I I met this it's a, a family <laughs> of uh, animals deers um, that I that are living in the forest um, that I run through and uh, I like see them almost every time so it's like I start to <laughs> know them almost and I feel like I'm in a Disney movie or something today I was sitting on they were like lying and were resting all three of them uh, and uh, then when I w uh, like uh, running past them uh, and stopped and looked at them they were actually not afraid anymore or I guess they're not so af afraid of people because they live so, so close to to how it's like a residential area there so there it's in a forest but you can still see the houses in the background 
so they live very close to 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 people and they don't run away uh, so but actually I could sit there with, with them like uh, with a distance of I don't know could it be 20 meters um, 15 20 meters I'm not sure um, and they didn't like it didn't bother them they could rest continue resting and it felt so nice and I felt like I connected with them somehow and then <laughs> I closed my eyes and started to, to meditate um, uh, or just uh, not r really meditating but I just uh, yeah some kind of meditation and then I felt something on my back and <laughs> it was a cat so yeah that's when I uh, and the cat was really social and wanted to sit in my lap um, and it was so surrealistic actually <laughs> uh, the whole thing and that's when I started to think I was in a, in a Disney movie um, but yeah uh, those kind of um, you can have those types of new uh, new uh, experiences if you if you go out um, and look at new in new environments and uh, whenever you'll be able to do that I think it's a really good idea uh, or I recommend it strongly um, And um, I think you can have, a re it, it doesn't have to be a problem to drink alcohol. I, I wish I could, or uh, my plan is to not stop drinking. Uh, I would like to continue drinking if I'm in a situation that I enjoy. And it's like uh, socializing and it's, uh, I mean, having a glass of uh, sparkling wine or something would I would feel that this would would only enhance this uh, already positive feeling. Of course, it's no problem. But my problem was that I wanted to treat my anxiety with it. So, and that's when you have when you when it's like that. Uh, I think you have a problem. So, and you should think about: um, is it is is it uh, do I want to use this to? help me with my anxiety or maybe there are other medication and uh, treatment and um, therapy perhaps uh, you could, there could be other things because it, it could really get worse I think um, and uh, that's what what I started to worry about it wasn't really r very bad but it I felt that it, this can be because that's uh, the problem with the uh, the addictive um, uh, these um, types of addictive um, um, yeah I don't know the word for it liquid <laughs> um, uh, medication I mean when you just uh, you will just uh, you will need more and more and uh, it could go really bad if you don't, um, if you're not uh, paying attention to it, what's happening, so I think I'm not worried about myself so much any longer. Now I'm worried about my creativity and uh, my motivation, and um, that I have to find a way to just, just. I know because I know. I still able. To, I'm still able to do it. I when I do things. Um, this uh, weekend, last weekend, I did a, another project that didn't have to do with um, this ASMR channel, um, and it didn't have. I did it just for fun, uh, just for myself and my family. Uh, we have a, like also a YouTube channel just for us uh, and our work. With, uh, with the we do like music stuff and things, but it's really not that anyone is trying to uh, <laughs> to sell it to anyone else or to have it let to have it to like uh, 
grow growing channel or anything it's just for us and it will always be it's just for us to enjoy and uh, when I worked I, I I just stopped thinking about doing ASMR and I did something a project for that channel and then I felt this um, creativity and uh, energy that I want to have and that I know and I thought that maybe it is gone because I'm older <laughs> I will never be able to be that have that energy and creativity again but then I noticed wow, wow I still have it it's uh, just that uh, I need to feel no pressure uh, then it's uh, just so fun and I will be you know like flow creative flow um, so I know it's there and I just have to find it and I will continue doing maps videos I will continue drawing maps um, and uh, I will struggle a bit with it now um, following months probably but you will probably see some videos every now and then but if it takes a while sometimes it's because I need to do other things and um, think about other things yeah so now you know that and um, thanks for listening thanks for watching I hope uh, you, you found some help um, if you I mean if you struggle with some thoughts about um, motivation and or alcohol consuming alcohol or anything I hope um, it could help you listening to me uh, because I've noticed that it helps so much listening to others uh, even though maybe they don't have the have like um, uh, the remedy for it or a solution uh, it just helps listening to someone else and um, don't hesitate to write uh, an email to me or anything if you want or something and uh, or uh, yeah, uh, drop a comment, of course, on this video. Um, it's been amazing how I remember the comments for the last uh, when I was like rambling about m mental health two years ago. It was just so amazing to read the comments, and thank you so much for taking your time to and um, share your your own thoughts about this. It was amazing. Um, and um, I want to I, I really w my the best uh, I mean the best feedback I could get is if my videos uh, especially videos like this if they somehow could help you so yeah take care now and um, stay safe and uh, sleep well see you soon